let me just tell you that I got a call from the state health department. We just learned that there is another confirmed case of swine flu in California. We're told a 35-year-old woman from Imperial County. So that, that now brings the total up to seven confirmed cases of swine flu in California. Uh, but very uh, fortunately for this woman, she was hospitalized, treated, released. All of the cases, we're told, have been very mild and all of those patients have recovered. Now, having said that, the airport officials are uh, putting up signs that you see right here. And those signs uh, that they're putting up are basically reminding people to take very basic precautions that they would during influenza season. The health department is reminding people that if they're in a public area such as an airport, they're moving in and out, they have a lot of contact with travelers, make sure, wash your hands, cover your mouth if you cough, and they are actually putting out extra hand sanitizers in some of the terminals and the baggage areas to make sure that people who come into contact with each other are protected. Now, Michael uh, Koulis is a spokesperson here at the airport. I understand you're in surveillance mode. What exactly are you doing to protect travelers? Well, Thelma, I wouldn't exactly call it surveillance mode, but we're monitoring, assessing the situation uh, to make sure that we're taking the actions uh, that are necessary to protect the public. Obviously, like safety what? and security are a priority uh, concern for our passengers. We're working very closely with the County Department of Health and Human Services, who in turn is working with the CDC to monitor the situation. They've asked us, of course, to put these posters up, simple reminders as a first step. But there are no travel restric restrictions to or from Mexico at this time, correct? Not that I'm aware of, and we are operating normally here at San Diego International Airport. Now, we've been told that uh, Mexicana Airlines is actually doing, uh, sending out questionnaires to some of the people who are coming back into the United States to make sure that they ask them if they have flu-like symptoms so that they can keep an eye on some of these folks. Aero Mexico actually has masks that they have on the plane. Michael, can you show them those masks? Sure, Thelma. And this is uh, not exact, but this is a type that Aero Mexico has advised us that they do have in case someone does show uh, symptoms on the aircraft that they could put this on the passenger. Michael Coolis, thank you very much. And uh, so, Don, those are the precautions that they are taking here. But right now, they've been very emphatic. There are no travel restrictions to or from Mexico. Business is as usual here.